So with that said, we are doing customer interviews up front. We're getting a, even like a little bit of a database going of customer language, uh, the messaging that they want to uh, be communicated via. We can talk in a way that they are going to absorb it and appreciate it without having an extra layer of translation of, of marketing bullshit. I think you put it more politely than that earlier on. We're then going to do uh, multiple tests with different parts of messaging, with uh, different uh, elements of messaging. And then we're going to use a, a hundred pickups at least so that we've got statistically significant data. What do we do from there? Let's let's assume that we've got onto something, something's working. What do we do then? Do we double down on this and just smash the marketplace? Or do we need to roll this out gradually in case we've got, I guess, in case I guess it's an, an, an anomaly? Yeah, so I always like to have a SEAL team in every organization that's always, and it's a small group, three or four people. Um, Google does this well. They have these, these little labs where they're doing these experiments. And their purpose is always to start trying new stuff um, rapidly. So two-week experiments. We want to try some things that are different phraseology on calls. We want to maybe try using visual images in cold emails one of the things we're experimenting right now with a lot of the people that I coach are these emails that have pictures um, under 100K, so you give the best chance of getting delivered of before and after. Um, I learned this from a guy named Jack Butchner. He does this great Twitter feed called Visualizing Value. I took his course. I'm like immediately connected the dots thinking, hey, what would this look like if we actually had to communicate our value in a before and after picture? Um, and so uh, can, can we experiment with that and see? So this this SEAL team, or you can call them whatever you want, is always going to be a small team of experimenters. And people love this stuff. Um, some of the stuff works, and if it doesn't, there are two or, th two or three week cycles to experiment with. So that's going to be always continuously going on. Um, and then the uh, people that are actually on the core team, um, once it's dialed in, um, are going to always have suggestions on things that they could do to improve it. Um, but yeah, but for the most part, it's a, it's a it's a grind at that point. It's being able to just do the work consistently, you know, running five to seven miles every day. Um, a lot of times people will find something that works, but they won't do it consistently. And it's the consistency that's going to actually deliver the outcome. The sporadic stopping and starting, you just don't get into a flow state. It's, so we were talking about before we click record uh, goals, 2021 goals. Um, I come across this at the end of last year and I found it, has been really valuable for me and our organization so far and just the kind of six weeks that we've been implementing it. I think it's from the book, Good to Great. I think it's Jim Collins. He talks about the 20 mile march. You go to work, you do your 20 miles, and this is what I find in great companies they do. They're not necessarily sprinting all the time. They just do 20 miles, they go home. Next day, 20 miles, go home, 20 miles, go home. Is that how, is that how we should be uh, framing this up in our mind of that's what success is over not just six months, but 10 years, 20 years? You said it much better than than I could have. You know, I'll, I'll give you a quick story. Um, a few years ago, I took a master's swim class. Master's is a nice way of saying swim class for old people like myself. And the class started at six o'clock in the morning, which is pretty early. And day one, there was like 30 people in the class. It was a 30-day program. And by the end, there were uh, 12 of us. And this is the same thing that you've probably experienced when you were in college, first year Sort of first semester lecture halls packed, and by the end it sort of dwindles down. Um, so this idea of being consistent every day, being good every day, a little bit good every day makes you great over the long term. But the consistency is really hard for people because of shiny object syndrome. Um, it's how you finish an Ironman race. It's how you accomplish anything great. I 100% subscribe to that. Um, same thing with the stock market. People want to trade Bitcoin and do all these things, fine. But like, listen to Warren Buffett. It's a slow, methodical, consistent approach. 